ES Audio. Hello, I'm Mark Blunden and this is the Evening Standard's Tech and Science Daily. Coming up, Google escalates Apple War with new Pixel phone launch, but first. NASA's Juno spacecraft on its Jupiter mission has captured the most detailed images yet of the mysterious icy ocean-covered moon Europa. The image shows ridges and crevasses on Europa's frozen surface on an area about 10,000 square miles in size. Scientists say white dots present on the image show signatures of penetrating high-energy particles from the severe radiation environment around the moon. The shot was captured at 15 miles per second, about 250 miles above Europa's surface, and is far clearer than the one captured in 2000 by the Galileo probe. Next. Google is hoping its improved camera will lure iPhone users to its new Pixel 7 devices as the company tries to make inroads into Apple's share of the smartphone market. Two new phones feature a 50 megapixel camera and a wider field of view and the ability to unblur pictures after they're taken. But what about security? So the Titan M2 security chip that we have now supports an highest security level possible. So we have what's something called as common criteria certified. This is the exact same protection requirements for you know banks and carriers and governments. That's Nanda Ramachandran, Vice President of Pixel's business arm. And how about those new colors? It's a lemongrass. It's kind of a very unique color, which we have I've never seen personally in a smartphone before, which we're pretty excited about. And hazel uh, is uh, another color for Pixel 7 Pro. And if you're in the market for a new phone, as always, make sure you check out the used models before parting with your hard-earned cash. Now, a government minister says Britain is planning for blackouts this winter but defended its stance of not advising people to try to save energy. Climate and Energy Minister Graham Stewart says firms using large quantities of energy would be asked first to reduce consumption, then there would be a voluntary scheme for households before any blackouts. Stewart also sought to downplay reports that Downing Street had blocked a public information campaign reportedly backed by Business Secretary Jacob Rees-Mogg on how people could save energy in the coming months. An arts venue has found a novel way to beat sky-high energy bills by using the body heat from people dancing to power its radiators. SWG3 in Glasgow stores heat generated on the dance floor in a thermal battery, which is then redistributed by heat pumps. The club's owners reckon the system will eventually let them disconnect from the gas boilers to cut about 70 tonnes of carbon dioxide every year. Gamer says he's spent three years to finally complete Grand Theft Auto V, but there's a twist. It's apparently all been done without killing any characters unnecessarily. The YouTuber known as Dark Viper AU set out to finish GTA V, but without wasting anyone who wasn't required to be dispatched as part of the storyline. But what's been described as the pacifist run took him three years and a lot of patience and hiding after beginning in summer 2019. Let's go to the ads. Coming up, the science behind the perfect friendship. Why not hit rate and follow in the meantime? Welcome back. New data shows deaths in England and Wales during this summer's heat waves were 6% higher than normal for the time of year. A total of 56,303 people died during five periods of hot weather between mid-June and late August. That's 3,271 deaths above the long-term average, according to the Office for National Statistics. The largest number of extra deaths occurred in mid to late July as temperatures topped 40 degrees C. Staying with this summer's heatwave, and experts say that the temperatures led to increased sightings of butterfly species, such as the gatekeeper and common blue, but overall numbers are still, as they described it, worryingly low. Sightings of the comma, that's a popular series often found in gardens, nearly doubled compared to last year, according to the results from the annual big butterfly count. But there are concerns that the UK's population of butterflies and day-flying moths remains in decline. And finally, 34 hours. That's how long a new study is suggesting that it takes to cement a good friendship 
preferably over the course of half a year. And at the same time, 66% of survey respondents say they're actively looking to expand their circle of friends, with the average British adult having five confidants. Results of the survey by Coffsweet company Fisherman's Friend were examined by Robin Dunbar, who's Emeritus Professor of Evolutionary Psychology at the University of Oxford. Professor Dunbar says humans tend to have five intimate friends, 15 or so good friends, around 50 social friends and capacity for 150 meaningful acquaintances. And doesn't that put all those zillions of online followers into context? You're up to date. Come back at 4pm for The Leader from the Evening Standard here in London. Tech and Science is back on Monday at 1pm. See you then.